Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Dad. You're grounded. And I think you're amazing. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today we're talking about a fa- uh, today we're talking about a brand new family vlog called Yahweh Vlogs. Now it's okay, maybe it's their name or something, but I have had about 4,000 messages. And I often get messages about, oh, you need to cover these, and these. I, I should cover all of them, and, and eventually we will. Um, but Yahweh Vlogs, this one's kind of popped up multiple times about how inappropriate this, I just did a video with, I just did a video on Sherry Frank from Me Passengers, and we, we looked at her top 10 videos, and a lot of them had to do with period kits and stuff like that. I keep coming back to this because I think it's one of the most important topics in this world, specifically for teenage girls on these vlogs. I think Crazy Middles or Crazy Pieces just released a video too about back to school period kits and all this kind of stuff, and it's like, for the most part, it's generally, you know, period kits, like, you know what it is, what it is, but you know it's going to attract creepers, and they know it's going to attract creepers. That's because as soon as you put the idea of a period, and I don't know why that attracts creepers, but it absolutely does. It's because it's like, these guys are attracted to young girls, right? And so they see these vlogs with these young teenage girls, and they're going to get a glimpse of something they normally wouldn't get. It's disgusting. Like, it's gross. So today we're going to talk, the first vlog we're going to enter into Yowie Vlogs is this one that they just came out with a couple months ago about their daughter getting their period for the first time. And it's just, right? So our first foray into this family is going to be this. And then obviously we're going to do another deep dive to figure out what is going on with these people. Okay. It's getting nasty. But before we get to that, Patreon dance. Yeah, baby. Where's my darts? Yeah. Lusty down here? Oh, here we go. What do we got? Which dart do we have here? Oh, we have a Ireland dart from my favorite American Irelander. Tammy Evans. Oh, just a sticker. Sorry. All right, YouTubers. Let's swear pillow. Yeah. yeah. Overkel, it's a cool name. You get the Australian, my favorite accent ever. Overkel. Oh man. Getting close to that center, that's all three. Let's go. If you don't know who Yahweh, the Yahweh family is, I mean, some people do, I don't. I don't, never seen their videos ever. <laughs> but they are a, a channel on YouTube with 1.41 million subscribers, which is, let's be real, that's a lot. It's a lot of money. 467 million views. Bank. They make bank. That's what that means. Welcome to the Yowie Vlogs family channel. We are a fun family of nine trying to have as much fun and doing our best to remind everyone their worth through our message. You're worth, eh? Here's your worth, kids. You're worth to us what the money we can make from you on our vlogs. That's their worth, right? I hate this bullshit. Anyway, um, for, you know, they get... They make a lot of money. So if you have that many subscribers, that type of engagement. So if we go to their reviews, which I used to I like to do this, most popular, they get high engagement. So heavy rainstorm flooded basement. This is their biggest video 10 months ago. 46 million views. That is a lot of money. Okay, we're talking $400,000. Depending how long, 17 minutes, 30, yeah, they make money. Hurry, hurry home, mommy, AZ needs to go to the bathroom. Uh, 10 million views on that, like what? Again, and then they did another aftermath flood, capitalizing on that 46 million, and they got 7 million. And then how could explode? House could explode, get out now, 6 million. Girl gets bit by dog while babysitting. They don't go, like obviously it's like getting stitches, again, flooding. Your house keeps getting flooded. Yo, fix your shit if your house keeps getting flooded, okay? Uh, saying goodbye to our best friend, putting their 
does it look like a rabbit or a dog they're putting down? Don't do that with your kids on camera. Don't do it. House flood kind of video, like they're just capitalizing the house flood stuff big time. They're making hundreds upon hundreds of thousand dollars off their house flood, which is okay, whatever. Um, anything, nothing crazy. But they make a lot of money. So if we go to our newest videos, let's see their engagement right now. Newest engagement. So yesterday, 220,000. These people, which is weird because the bad day at church was 82,000. These guys are Mormon. Ugh. So they, you know, it goes from 53,000, 76,000, 51,000 to mommy help me stung at the beach, 221,000. Look, nobody's interested in their life unless something happens to their children. Okay. Which is insane to me. Um, emotional return. We're talking, you know, they don't average an insane amount of views for a for a vlog with 1.4 million subscribers. Like, 65,000 views from a, v a video a week ago is nothing for the engagement. So, I'd like to take this as a positive reinforcement that what we're doing here works. People are starting to say, I'm not going to watch this anymore. I don't know if it's me, or if it's Sloan, or if it's everybody else covering these types of issues. You know, CC Suarez, Brady and Britt, all these people covering it. If that's making a difference, I'd like to think it is. But uh, they have a really ugly cat. And um, I think there's some inappropriateness here with some the way that their daughters are dressed, which you guys know I don't like it. Anyway, let's get into this video we're talking about here quickly. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to go through the entire thing, but I've never seen them, so it might be worth looking at them through the, this, this vlog. And this one got um, reacting. This is so gross, by the way. So this one about reacting during period has 600,000 views on it two months ago. 600,000 views. <laughs> I can't even imagine having it. I don't even think any of my videos have 600,000 views on them. Okay. And they're talking about their daughter getting their period. So buckle up, get your damn swear pillow. This shit's about to get real. Okay. I think we'll see. Johnny and I have a lot going on today. You ready for this? Two hours of drinking nasty stuff. Ugh. Getting your body poisoned. So I have to go get tested for COVID. I think I started my period. What? Get Netflix. Okay, it's too many kids. Just. Okay. They must be Mormon. I'm guessing they're Mormon. So basically, this is their day, unless they're in class, which they might be, but they spend their entire day on their computers with their ugly cat. Spring break is over and we are back to school today. Okay, it is school. <laughs> what, as? Not very glad. <laughs> Allie is helping the kids out with school, since Johnny and I have a lot going on today. And even though she doesn't feel good, she's helping them. So wait, you've got your looks like 12 year old helping kids with school because you guys are busy? Busy doing what? Are you kidding me right now? You're getting a 12 year old to help the kids out with school. I don't I already don't like it. Nope. So great. Because you're out getting paint. Okay, I get it. Yeah, you couldn't wait till the kids are done school to go get paint. Eh, it makes sense. None of these colors are the right ones. Are they connected to this Tannerites family or some shit? Okay. We are coming up with a custom color. <laughs> and it's gonna be called Tannerites Gray. It's gonna be perfect. Okay. I'm actually kind of pissed right now that she's like, we let our 12 year old take our kids schooling so we can go out and buy paint. Okay. Okay. Hi. Nice. Better it's great. I'm so excited. That's gray. Look at that. Okay. It's gray, dude. Chill. It's a gray paint. Chill. Tannerite's gray is beautiful. <laughs> Hello, purple house. <laughs> Yeah, I will. Did you buy one can of paint to paint your entire house? Because that's not enough paint. <laughs> Pro tip for painters. And I, of course, I, I've, yes, I used to paint. When you're getting a paint can, you see that little ridge that's around the top there? Get yourself, there's like a five or nine in one tool, has a little sharp edge on it. Or get a screwdriver and hit a bunch of holes in that. So when you're pouring the paint, when you tip it back, all the paint falls through in that little lid and it doesn't sit in the top of your lid. This guy's an amateur and I, it's bothering me. You know the difference. That's the difference. What's the difference? No one can see the difference. There we go. Again, I, it's a good thing I'm snarking on this because it's crazy how the first half of these videos, of the, a lot of these vloggers are doing just shit. Like, hey, look, our kids are being taught by our 12 year old and we're going to go get paint and then paint, I guess, is a new house they're moving into or something. And then, hey, also, let's now talk about your period. 
Okay, bro, that's the same damn color. <laughs> what? Are they saying that that's purple? You should hire people to do that. You ready for this? What car is that? Ready as I'll ever be, I guess. <laughs> no, I'm ready. Two hours of drinking nasty stuff. Ugh. Getting your body poisoned. Yeah, I forgot about that. I want to know what car. I want to know what car that was. <laughs> Cool backpack there, Japanimation fan. Are you allowed to just bring a camera into a hospital like that? Not here. I don't think you're allowed to do that here. Okay, so I had to come out and sit in the waiting room. So you okay. think that shit's dangerous to be around? It's like electromagnetics and I mean, your your hair is like mine. I get it, bro, and it'd be gone if you're in there. It filled me up with all the stuff. Okay, that was weird. Okay, no context. I guess you have to watch and understand. Is she getting screen tested for cancer? What's happening? Hey, how are you? Good, how you doing? Doing good. Hey, we're, we're back over here. The color is dry and we love it. You love it? But I think we're going to go 50%. Yeah. Yeah, 50%. This shit, man. This has 600,000 views on it. Really, really exciting stuff here. I'm just so pumped. I, 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 I just like, yeah, man, show me that great paint and shit. And so it's, it's called Terrorites Gray. Okay, I'm gonna about to scrub this shit. I know, uh, I know, uh, loose situation. Yeah, right? So tomorrow I'll just pick up the paint and go for it. Okay, you're the man, appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right, we'll see you. Bye. Okay. All right. You can't tell I'm wearing much in here, but... Yeah, it can't. It looks the same, dude. It needs to change. Yeah, it does. It needs to change. Hi. Um, I was wondering what COVID tests you guys have. Do you just have the swab or do you have the saliva test as well? And then do I need it to make an appointment or just show up? Oh. Why is this 12-year-old making her own appointments for the doctor? These parents... Okay, first video I know I'm gonna get ratio. No, they're good parents. First thing they do is open it with this girl taking care of her brothers and sisters during class, and they have eight, nine kids. Okay, then she's booking her own COVID tests. Where are the parents? Thank you so much. Bye. I talked to my grandpa, asking him what I needed to do for my. Why don't you talk to your parents? Where are your parents? What am I missing here? Throat, because I feel like I have a rock right there, stuck in my throat. Is there rocks? Can you start? Did you check for that or something? And it. No, I didn't swallow. A rock. See, the kid knows. Did you swallow a rock? That's what I said. Props, bro. Fuck. The eye roll for the little brother. Oh, I see that. I see that all the time in this house. But it hurts to swallow, so I haven't eaten anything. I had. That's not COVID. I mean, I. No, it's likely you have strep throat. Quits. But other than that. And if your parents are around, you probably would know that. Where are your parents? I haven't eaten anything, and so it feels like I have something caught in my throat. But mm. I talked to my grandpa, because yesterday he was like, just swish around salt, salt water, water before you go to bed. And I did that last night. I love all these old people's remedies. They're like, just put, just do cocaine about it. Let's just throw a little bit of bourbon in there, some cocaine, you're good to go. You'll be set for life. Just smoke cigarettes. <laughs> old people and the remedies, amazing. Just put a potato on it. It's that'll get rid of the potato will fix it. And I did oils and all that and I've taken Motrin and it's oils. Oh my gosh. Tell me they're not like an oil family. Tell me because oils don't do shit for you. And worse. And so my grandpa said that it's either strep throat or COVID. It's strep throat. So Again, where are your parents? Where are your parents? I have to go get tested for COVID. So I'm trying to find the saliva test because I really don't want to do the nose swab. But if I have to, I'll do it. I agree. Have you guys had the nose swab done? It's like, I don't know if the nurse didn't like me or something, but she's like, <laughs> like, lady. Like my frontal cortex was like, <laughs> I was like going like this. I'm like, oh, tears. And she's like, no, nah, it's all good. I'm like, you're the worst nurse ever. If you're going to be a nurse, be a gentle nurse, please. But this place, they do both. So I have to just. Wow. Okay. Set it. Let's get. Let's keep going here. Yeah. I think I started my period. What? 
Well, they just went from that to that. Okay. Hello. Why is there a camera all of a sudden on there? Did she say, Mom, get the camera, I have something to tell you? Or did she say before, then they went and got the camera? Both are gross, by the way. Just wanted to point that out. So, this is gross. This is one of the main reasons I hate family vlogging. For the... Does this girl really want this out there for the rest of the world to see forever? When she's... I mean, what is she, 12? Like, does she really want this out there when she turns, like, 16, 17, is in high school? Or do they homeschool? I don't know. Do you really want this out there? How do you feel about it? It's my heart is racing. <laughs> oh my gosh. So she's shaking. Is this, again, didn't go through my period. Thank God. Uh, my daughter's nine. Likely going to be in the next few years. I don't know. Is this what it's like? Like, I'm not making fun of everybody. I'm just asking because I like to ask questions of all the ladies that watch this. Explain to me your first time you got... I'm just kidding. Don't explain. That's gross. But she's shaking and smiling and the parents are like yes this vlog has six hundred thousand views on it are you like shaking because you're scared or what i don't know i'm just shaking hey why don't you give your daughter a be a mom to your daughter instead of putting her in front of a camera the whole time and then putting you on a camera with her what crazy hey, so yeah that looks super genuine you look super you're like a super good mom i can tell that's a lie crazy 13? Oh, she's 13, okay. So that's normal, I guess? Okay. Crazy. Wait, how old were you when you started? I was Can we... 14 and a half. How old was Anyana now? I was 17. And Anyana was... 17? Holy smokes. That's late, right? I was a late bloomer myself. I didn't have this beautiful beard. I didn't have any... I wanted sideburns so bad when I was, like, in high school. I didn't start growing a beard till I was, like, 27. So I'm pissed. 14. Dad, big news over here. Is this, when my daughter goes through her period, is this what my wife's gonna do? Hey dad, come on over and get on the camera here. We gotta talk about our daughter having her period. So the whole world can know. The whole world needs to know this, everybody. Raising awareness here. Everybody, the periods exist. Alexa. <laughs> Don't cry. Cancel. I look like you're gonna cry. Let's go. <laughs> I started my period. What? Am I? I mean, no? Right? Am I just getting a. Uh, am I way off here? Because I obviously have not experienced this. Are all the people that have gone through puberty in my house are dudes? So puberty's a little different. Like, I don't think this is how I'm gonna react to that. I don't think I need to even know. Do I need to know? I don't know. I'm kind of confused and conflicted on this. Do I need to know? She's got a mom. I don't know what to buy and all this stuff. That's what the moms are for. I do the dude stuff. And man, have we had some conversations that to this day, um, <laughs> you know, just saying, you got to have those conversations. I'm not, I'm okay with it. But I'm like, what is going on here? <laughs> you're not supposed to until you're five foot one. Wait a minute. What? You're five, are you foot, five one. foot one. <laughs> are you scared? Are you worried? I, She's no, like I'm shaking so, so bad. Did you think there was something wrong? This is so weird. Like, I mean, in, in, in private, this is not weird. It's not saying this may be how they would react. But why are you filming this? To what, what good does this do? What benefit does this do to your fans? For people who watch you? What is the benefit? Do they have comments on this? I'm going to, oh my gosh, do they have comments on this? Oh, comments are turned off. Why are their comments turned off? YouTube turned back, turned comments back on. Oh, the new ones are turned back on. Okay. So, it was just before they turned the comments back on. Okay, well, still. So, again, I ask a question. What benefit is this to anybody? Kind of. I looked, I was like, what the heck? <laughs> so luckily, I have older sisters who actually talk about it openly, mom. Yeah, luckily you do. So, you didn't need to film this for YouTube. I know a lot of people are going to say, well, we need to make sure we're bringing awareness and we're, we're not shaming people for this. It's never about shaming. It's just about privacy. How, wanting privacy for your kids is not sh it's not shaming and she has older sisters They've gone through all this stuff. Why do they need to film this? It's such a weird Hey benchmark. We you know we got a period. I just don't it it, 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 it rubs me the wrong way So I actually knew what's going on. So do we have it all taken care of? No, we gotta go take care of it. Okay, go take care of it. Does their fridge have a TV on it? Holy we shit. Go, okay. Hey. Allie Allie First of all, after our conversation yesterday about Sherry Frank, stop giving 12-year-olds phones, okay, that they literally sleep with. That's why you don't give them phones. 
because they wake up. This is so dangerous. This is like giving your kids meth. Stop it. Hey, you need to wake up. You want to know this. Need to. You want to know. Also, she's sleeping. Can you... What's going on in the room? You're going to want to be sitting down for this. I'm lying down. No, you're going to want to be sitting down. She doesn't like her mom. Tell her. I started my period. <laughs> yeah. Why is this on camera? Oh, uh, am I off base, guys? Like, are you guys grossed out by this? Is it like, or not just grossed out by the idea of her privacy on the internet and that she's, she knows this is a part of the vlog that she's been waiting to do. She knows her role, right? She basically knows, okay, this is content, let's roll. <laughs> so anticlimactic. Okay, it's part of life, let's be real. You don't get trophies for this shit. She needs some stuff. I didn't get trophies when I had kidney stones. I want trophies. From you that I don't have, she needs a pad. Didn't the none of this had to be on camera? None of it. None of it. Yeah, not tampons yet. What time is it? Like. Oh my gosh! Ugh, stop it! I'm not saying I'm grossed out by the idea of periods. Then you guys, a lot of people say, "Oh, you shouldn't be." It's the idea that you're you're telling the entire world that your teenage daughter, and you're talking about periods, you're talking about pads, and you're talking about tampons. This is nobody's business. Okay, I've I <laughs> I don't hear girls in high school coming out. Hey, I got a period, everybody. They wear shirts and shit, and they're all excited about it. It's just I'm not saying you should be ashamed of it either. But this is some things can be private. You don't have to tell the world everything. You don't. But look at her. She's like freaking out. Look at her. <laughs> she looks sexy. Yeah, look at him. Now we're going to the chicken store. Okay, that's. Cheers. What? You just got a whole bunch of money over here. Like a whole bunch of money. Do you take this to the front? Mm -hmm. It's like five bucks, chill. Somebody dropped it. They take it to the front. Yeah, we gotta go tell them. It's not. This is a plan. I'm just kidding. This is what I would do too. If I found money on the floor, it's going in my pocket. I'm not gonna lie, depending on how much. If it's in the thousands or like hundreds, I'll give it to the front. Hey, someone lost it. If it's a fiver, I'm keeping it. I will still bend over to pick up a quarter. A dime, a quarter or below, I, no, I won't. I think I'm past the point where I can pick up a quarter. I'll leave a quarter, but I'll pick up a loony or a toonie for sure. I to, <laughs> there's a $5 bill blowing across the uh, McDonald's parking lot there. I definitely put it in parking and grab the five. I grabbed the fiver. I did. I'm not ashamed. That's not. Somebody's missing the money. Yeah. What is this girl? I'm eating today because it is so painful to swallow. I'm eating it. It tastes good. My stomach really needs it. My throat is screaming at me because it hurts so bad. Have you ever heard of meds? Anybody? Go to the doctor. She went and got a COVID test instead of going to a doctor. If it's strep throat, a doctor will give you antibiotics to help you. Instead, she called her grandfather so they go get a COVID test and then do cocaine. That's not what you do, people. You can get meds to help you. If you can't eat, go get it fixed. Where are their parents? So we'll see if I can finish this. Oh this is God. really interesting. My throat. It feels is like it? Okay. I'm, I'm passwording. Take medicine. Look at the camera. Yeah, that's going to be the one, right? Okay, let Sarah and I be an example. Where is your audio coming from here? Looks sounds like you're talking on an FM radio from space. You. And I don't mean like the greatest example. I mean an example of when you make mistakes, it doesn't change your value. What? It hurts. Is this guy talking about getting paint wrong? Is this like with Love Meg made muffins wrong and everybody's upset? It's, um... Makes you feel really dumb a lot of the times. Makes you feel like you, you just can't get anything right. It makes you feel like uh, a lot of things that you should have done could have happened a lot more easily than 1.4 million subscribers. Now I know why their their views are a little low, right? So if they didn't put the title "Started Her Period," which is about I don't know two minutes of this entire 16 minute vlog. If they didn't put that in there, this would have had zero views. This is a garbage video, but they used, this is where it gets problematic. They used the clickbait of her daughter's period, of their daughter's period, to get views. How low can you go? Why do you do that? There's like, give me one good reason why that was acceptable in this video. 
Like, if you're saying bring awareness, you're talking about it, yeah, but you didn't talk about it at all. You didn't say anything else. Not like I want you to, but you didn't. It was just like, hey, I got my period. I'm nervous about it. Go to your sister. I got pads in the bottom drawer. That's this video. If you didn't say that, this video is trash. The video is trash anyway, but they used it as clickbait to get 600,000 views for a two-minute part of that video. That is disgusting. You sold your daughter's privacy for two minutes of your video to make money. Disgusting. What it sounds like in the beginning. And the bad decisions we make, or the decisions that don't go too well, have consequences, and it's not fun. What is he talking about? A fast it's a cat that will to be in drama. Boom, boom, boom. You're not gonna get that every day for the next month. Okay, I'm, f I'm rewinding because I don't know what he said. Okay, go upstairs. It's a cute dog. Come on, let's go upstairs. He's like, no he thanks. Came back to figure out the. Dilemma of the paint, the paint <laughs> drama. Holy cow, these people are, I think I'm going to say it. They might be more boring than our life. I think I just said it. Holy shit, this is boring. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Oh, oh, oh. This is the final color, I think. Yeah, that would be good. It's lighter. It looks really blue compared to this, but it's really gray. The, both are gray. What are they saying purple? Both of them shit colors are gray. Right there. Look at the camera. Yeah, that's gonna be the one, right? Okay, let Sarah and I be an example to you. And I don't mean like the greatest example. Right? No, you're a shitty example of parents. First of all, this vlog started with you letting your 13 year old, let your 13 year old take over the class for your children. Then you went paint shopping and painting another person's house. Oh, I don't know. Then you went to like your girl, your youngest, your daughter said to start my period. So you talked about that for a few minutes, which is weird. And then now you're talking about we're making mistakes on what? An example of when you make mistakes, it doesn't change your value. What mistakes is he talking about? The paint color? What is going on here? It hurts. It, uh... it hurts. Makes you feel really dumb a lot of the times. Makes you feel like you, you just can't get anything right. It makes you feel like uh, a lot of things that you should have done could have happened a lot more easily than what it sounds like in the beginning. It's a whole lot of words to say nothing. What are you talking about, dude? I even rewinded it to see if I get some context, and I'm more confused now. And the bad decisions we make are the decisions that don't go too well. What? Is he talking about paint? It's the only thing I can think of right now. And it's not fun. At the same time, there's so much that can be learned from making a mistake. And I think a life without mistake, I know that a life without mistake is not a life. It's not any. Oh my God. What is this? Is this guy, is it like two o'clock in the morning? He's looking for a sandwich and if somebody ate all his leftovers from restaurants, so he's like, I'm going to vlog instead. What is going on here? Thing worth living. Because mistakes are who we are. It's how we are. What? I guess what I should really should. Thanks, Copernicus or whatever, Confucius. I don't even know who the person is. This shit is ridiculous. Say it's decisions. The decisions that we make are who we are. What? So anyway, again, let us be the example. Of, what? Uh, hey, mistakes happen. What in mistake? What What'd you make? So, in terms of how we move forward. It's really how we deal with it. And Sarah and I are really trying to deal with this mistake that we made with the paint. It is about the paint. You've got to be shitting me right now. It's about, this guy just waxed poetic about how bad the decision he's made. And we're the sum of our mistakes. We're the worst people. And if we don't make mistakes, that's okay. We are our mistakes, but it's not our mistakes. But it's, you know, let us be the example. Don't get shitty paint. <laughs> or, and, and the mistakes that we make with our kids. And, the, and Yeah, you made both. <laughs> Just in this video alone, Yahweh, tons of mistakes. Wow, we're going down the Yahweh vlog tour, the Dad Challenge podcast. The decisions we make and the mistakes we make together in our relationship and just in life in general, trying to do our best to, you know, how do we deal with these mistakes? What is he doing? Is he just, again, he's being, what are you talking about? What mistakes have you made? To where they don't haunt us. Holy shit, dude! Get to the damn point of the mistake. What mistakes did you make? Holy! Are you serious with this guy? Sorry. Follow Creepy Makeup Baby on Instagram. 
forever. And, and the biggest thing is, is we take responsibility for them. Yeah. And I don't say we do this all the time saying that's the, Oh my God, you should not have filmed this. It. Not only is the audio terrible, but nothing you said there makes any sense. Not one sentence in there was like, yeah. Nothing. I got nothing from that. Except that you got the wrong paint or some shit. And you didn't even tell us what you did wrong there. Nobody knows what's going on. What? On to the next level. We love you guys. Never forget that. You are worth it. Are you? So, Yahweh Vlogs, again, so many people have messaged me about, you need to cover Yahweh Vlogs. There's way more problematic things than this, apparently. So, okay. Weird. But again... That one, that one moment in this vlog, look, I know it's just a small moment in the vlog and the rest was super boring, but that draws more, that just makes me more angry because they have a vlog where they talk literally about nothing, don't even know what they're going to hospital about unless I guess maybe you have to watch 20 episodes before you find out what they did or you have to obviously be t totally engrossed in this family to know what they went to the hospital for, I guess, but they're super vague. Their daughter comes on and talks about how she's sick. And doesn't go to the hospital at all or go to the doctor, which they could have done. The parents are seem to be nowhere around whatsoever. They're painting another house. I don't know. Some Tannerite's house. I don't know. Lots to learn. You guys will probably be in there. You don't know them. You need to watch so many videos. You suck because you don't know them. Why don't you do research before you do a video about someone? Here's the research I did about this video, okay? None. And do I need to do research to know that... Do I need to do research to say that putting your daughter's period out there is inappropriate? No. Okay, this is how I roll. I discover with you. We watch this shit together and we discover it together. It's actually a journey. Okay, I am not gonna watch 850 vlogs of Yahweh people who are really boring. Okay, but I will dissect the terrible videos and then we learn more as we go. We learn more, we catch up. We're like, oh wow, this is a problem. Oh, this is terrible. Ew. At me if they're if they're Mormons. Let me know. Sounds like there's something like that anyway. Uh, weird. These, like, am I wrong? Is my gut wrong about these parents being, like, not really parents at all? Am I wrong about that? I could be wrong. Just saying, from what I saw from this video, that's what I got. So, yowie. Eww. Anyway. <laughs> Guys, take a deep breath. I hope that you have an amazing day today. I'm taking Everly to Cannon's Wonderland, and we are going to hit the rides. She hits every coaster. It's so much fun. Maybe I'll do this live stream from there from a coaster or something like that. We'll see. But I hope you guys have an amazing day. And I hope that you understand that you are valuable. And your worth is like beyond measure. I know that sounds cheesy when I say that. But it is. Everybody just needs to take a step back and say to yourself. Damn it, I'm worth it. I am valuable to people around me. And those people are valuable to me. And I'm going to do my best to be awesome. Challenge today. Go do something cool for somebody. Something out of the ordinary, maybe for your husband or your kids or mom, your dad or friend. Just do some, bring a coffee, I don't know, buy them a car. Do what you got to do, okay? But that's the challenge for today. Do something awesome. I'm going to get a funnel cake and i am not been eating sugar for like three days. I'm going to eat that whole funnel cake in one bite. I'm so excited. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow.